and in this video I am going to review the deposit and withdrawal uh, process of IQ Option. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of these videos um, just going through actually making a deposit, doing a trade and then withdrawing just to prove that this particular broker um, does um, pay out um, which is a uh, pretty much one of the one things that most traders um, are wary of that they're actually not going to um, get their money out of a broker when it's time to do a withdrawal. So first step is I'm going to be doing um, a deposit. So with IQ option, um, the actual deposit options are up the top. I'm just going to be doing it via MasterCard or um, actually I'm going to be doing it via Visa. So then you can select your currency, mine just be by US. And then IQ Option has some pre-selected amounts um, and a pre-selected bonuses. Um, or down the bottom you can actually just type in the actual amount that you want. Be aware that if you do accept a bonus, it's actually pre-selected on 100 with a bonus of 20%. Um, and that's actually going to have some bonus terms and conditions with that. So you'll see here you can actually click through to bonus details, click the bonus terms and conditions um, and there's going to be some wagering requirements before you can actually process, before they will actually process any withdrawal requests. So just be aware of that. Uh, for this particular video I'm just going to be doing the minimum $10. There's no bonus attached with this so I won't have any bonus requirements. So I'll go ahead and make a deposit. And it will ask me to put in my bank details. So I'll go ahead and do that um, and fast forward the video when that's done. Okay, so uh, my $10 has been processed and you can see here I've got $10 in my account. Um, then I'm actually um, brought to this screen where it's gone attention, confirm your personal information. In case of incorrect personal data, your withdrawal request will be cancelled. So this is something very important that you need to do to, to ensure um, that your withdrawal is actually um, processed. So my first name and last name correct, my country is correct. So my phone number I'll put in. So putting in any false information is putting your, um, you know, your withdrawal in jeopardy um, down the track when you get to that. So I'll put in my date of birth. Oops, so I'm March 27th and I'm mail. So I'll confirm that. Okay, so I'll go and do a trade now to generate some turnover. Um, I might go into Turbo Options and um, see if we can do... Okay, we'll just do a $1 trade. Um, I'll just put in a put. And so this looks like it's going to be... So that's gone in. Okay, so we'll see there that the trade was completed um, and I'm actually <laughs> was lucky on that one but obviously I wasn't trying to trade then, I was just putting in it for the purpose of this um, um, exercise. So we'll just close that out. So now the next step I'll do is to um, submit a withdrawal request. So we'll go to... to the withdrawals tab. 
Um, and it's good to actually read the frequently asked questions. Um, also, when you when you're doing this, so it's got some here. Can I deposit via electronic wallets? How much time does it take to withdraw? So it's in process within three working days. Um, is there any commission taking on the account? They don't take any commissions, um, but payment systems or payment aggregators may do. So there might be a fee associated with doing the transaction via your bank um, or e-wallet. So do I need any documents to withdraw funds? So a company representative may ask you to send scanned documents depending on the withdrawal type. So if you did the withdrawal, um, and it might even be done on the amounts, so if it may be a low, a low withdrawal request like that might not need any documents, um, but then again they may do. So this is all going to be part of, of the video to see what happens. Um, so, so why do I need account verification? So yeah, verifications need to prevent fraud by a money transaction. So it's in your best interest to actually provide the verification when it's asked for. So I live abroad, can I withdraw funds? Um, you can do that via bank transfers and e-wallets. Do you put any limits on withdrawing requests? They don't have any limits or, ma or maximum amounts on on their requests. So, um, so I can get it, uh, the withdrawal put back on um, back on my bank card. You could do a bank transfer or I could do it via Skrill. You'll see here that the bank card actually does come with a $5 fee. So which would be, you know, crazy to do. That's do for me. But obviously if you're withdrawing like $1,000, you might be happy with the $5. If you want it straight into your bank account, you're going to be up for a bigger fee. Um, and with Skrill, there's actually, it looks like there's no fee. So I've actually got a Skrill account, so I'm going to do that. Um, so I'll see if I can draw the ten dollars fifty one. Sometimes there's uh, there's there's limits on the amount. It might have to be greater than fifty dollars to do a withdrawal with some brokers. Uh, but I believe with IQ Option there there is no um, limit, at least with Skrill. I don't think there is. So that's my Skrill email. So we'll put in the request. So your inquiry for withdrawal was accepted. So um, a few things that might happen here. I might get an email saying, because obviously it's up to three days to get together a withdrawal request. So that's going to go into the queue of I, I, IQ option and there's going to be someone there um, on the banking side in their department who will process this now. So they might get back to me via email saying, Chris, I need some proof of identification um, and that's when I provide them that. Um, they might just actually process the withdrawal straight away. Um, so if it's after three days and you don't actually hear from them, that's when I would actually be following them up and saying, look, you know, where's, um, I've done a withdrawal request. How's that going? So I'm going to pause this video now. Um, and then I will let you know how I went with the withdrawal request. Hi guys. So, um, after submitting the withdrawal request, um, I received an email. And um, this is what I got. It says, hello, for the highest quality of service as well as, as according to the payment policy, we ask you to provide us with a color copy of your photo page and your personal ID or official identity. In case of a bank card deposit, we also need a copy of your card on both sides. Important for your safety, please close your credit card number, leaving visible only the last four digits, as well as close the CVV number on the back of the card make sure that, that the card is signed and files can be sent to the email. So, um, you know, this was over the, the Christmas period, so I actually didn't reply back on Boxing Day. I actually replied um, three days later on the 29th. Um, so, yeah, I obviously had my driver's license copy sent, so I just have that handy on file, um, and also my credit card. Um, and then, so that was on the 29th, so, um, because it was to squirrel, squirrel, so you actually see here, two days later on the 31st from um, Alta Vista Trading Limited, which is um, their um, company name, 
it's from payments IQ option and you'll see the amount that came through so um, it was um, from memory it was ten dollars and fifty one cents USD uh, as my squill is in Aussie dollars there you have it twelve dollars and twenty one cents minus the one dollar fee if you go into IQ option you can see here um, that I did the first request on the 24th um, so that came through so it took them two days from the 24th to the 26th to email me um, as it took me a couple of days to reply to that email on the 29th um, and then on the 20 or on the 31st I actually got my withdrawal so you see there that that took up to probably three working days within that which is what um, they um, claim to do so as you can see um, I've deposited and withdrawn successfully from IQ options with no hassles whatsoever.